Hi everyone, it's Mikey with Chasing Donnie Baseball. Welcome to our Topps Allen and Ginter 2019 set hobby box. Uh, looking for any of these three cards in the box, as you can see there. Looking for autograph, relic. They have RIP cards, rip cards, uh, printing plates, and book cards. So there's um, no guarantee of any of these in the boxes, but that's what we're certainly looking for. We're hoping to get a, our share of it. Now, what I usually do with uh, hobby boxes before I, uh, I break them with you guys, I always usually break one, um, like earlier in the day or something, or the day before, because I like to get an idea of like what the cards look like, feel like, you know. And I don't usually even finish the whole box. So today I did that, okay, I did that, and I got a hit, and I got a really cool hit. I should say I did this yesterday, actually. Um, and I mentioned it on Jab's channel last night when he was doing his break. I got this awesome uh, Miggy Cabrera card, RIP card, and it's uh, 71 out of 75. <clears throat> okay, and the back is where you rip it. If you've never, if you're not familiar with these cards, I've never ripped one before, so I'm not going to sound like some pro here. But the idea is that there's a card inside this. Okay, it's like buried inside, hence RIP. And you, you're guaranteed something inside. You're guaranteed, as you can see there, a red mini autograph card or an exclusive mini parallel, exclusive mini wood parallel, exclusive mini metal parallel, or one of a kind, one of a kind sketch card. So don't know what any of those look like. Don't even know like what is, I guess, the top, the first one will be the most valuable red mini autograph. So uh, I asked on Jeb's channel, I did kind of a quick little, you know, little survey and what, I should do. Should I keep the card? It's worth kind of on its own, probably a, a nice amount. Or should I open it? And you guys were screaming for me to open, rip open the RIP card. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it at the end, okay? And then after I open it, I'll decide what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to keep you a little bit of a suspense, but I will open it. I'm listening to you guys, and I will open it. But first, I like to open the, the box for you. These are the ones that you guys bought into. So I want to get right into it. Uh, let me cut this this open, and I'm going to share a little bit of news with you guys as you watch me open this. As you can see, I have an, uh, if you've been you know with me on my breaks since the beginning, um, you've seen that I have a low, usually low tri tripod camera shot pretty close to the cards and everything, different angle, uh, which I like and I'll still use occasionally, but I've been eyeballing this overhead tripod, if you will. Um, hangs off, attaches to my, my break table here. Anyway, it gives me this overhead shot, which I, I like the shot as it is, you know, as is. I think overhead is nicer, but also it's easier for me to move around to open these boxes and things. So I might stick with this, see how it goes tonight. Um, and I'll share, like I said, if you've been with me since day one, you know that I have muscular dystrophy, muscular dystrophy, uh, and that being said, it's I'm always looking for easier ways to do things during these breaks, and doing this overhead seems right so far, seems to be great. Um, here is our oversized box loader card. I'm also going to break this, uh, open this at the end. I like to open those at the end of the boxes, so I'll do that. So let me get open, get all these packs out. Um, and the news I want to share is that uh, getting this tripod, like I said, is a, is a big deal for me. I'm real excited that I was able to get it. And the only way I was able to get it is because of you guys, because of your, uh, for both uh, Patreon, the Patreon page is so helpful. The support you guys are showing me, the monthly support has been amazing. I told you that every cent that I make off of this channel is going back into the channel. And that's the truth. Right now, that is absolutely what I've been doing. Um, that includes the brakes, everything. Whatever I make on the brakes, um, which, you know, sometimes a little bit more than less, I always put it right back in to get a better box, a bigger box, whatever it might be. Um, and with the Patreon, uh, Patreon, excuse me, Patreon page, what I've been using that money for is putting stuff into, like, the technical side of the channel. You know, tripods, things like that, lights. So that's what I'm experimenting with tonight. I hope you like this shot. I hope you can let me know in the comment section what you think of it. Um, but more importantly, why don't we get right into the break. I'm going to show you the list here of everyone who bought in. Here we go, let me get the list. Thank you all for doing this. As you see, we go into, uh, I call it our Star Wars 
credit roll here into the into the horizon so everybody gets to see their name okay go back down and I'll call your name out throughout the evening as we get hits hopefully multiple hits um, but why don't we get right into it I'll start with pack one uh, we're looking at 24 packs I believe it is uh, eight cards in each pack so it should be fairly quick considering there's only eight cards in each pack and we'll go this we'll do this together it's the first um, box that I'm opening like I said I opened one this morning I didn't open the whole thing uh, but it's my first Allen and Ginter box so I'm excited I'm also a little little hesitant because I know now uh, speaking of which the very first card there's uh, definitely non MLB players uh, that are going to be popping up in every pack here's a skateboarder um, so what they do is go through this pack here they insert, as you know now, if you're familiar with Alan Ginter, they insert not just MLB players, but could be anything from newscasters to celebrities. Um, and they do this at least, I think one card every pack could be more. And this is two. So there we go. I guess this is a rapper I'm told or something um, by the name. So there we go. We got a skateboard and a rapper in pack one, along with a couple good names. But we also get these... I call these the tobacco cards because they're just very small, like the original tobacco cards. And these are all going to pop up. This is Lost Languages, Jersey, Dutch language. Don't know what that means. Um, from Jersey, and not really familiar with that. So, anyway, so <laughs> so I'm going to put these cards, uh, you know, uh, in the box. I'll get them all separated. I will, of course, put things in top loaders and one touches, whatever might be necessary, depending on what we pull here tonight. Um, but. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to put up with tonight as far as uh, it's a little bit different. There are some great, great, you know, cards in this, Major League players, great autographs we can pull. You know, has all the rookies, Vlad Guerrero, it's got Trout cards, things like that. But we're also going to have to put up with these. It's a, this is the little tobacco card, mini card, they, they call it Catfish Hunter. That's really nice. I'll put these all aside. And then we go through the regular, regular names here. Don't think we're going to get any more in this pack, but you never know. Martinez, nice JD Martinez card there. Chapman. And a nice Ozzy Smith. That's a Ginter Great card insert. And Robbie Cano, don't you know, with the Mets. And Nicholas Gonzalez. Okay. Got that started with. Okay. So I'm kind of interested to see, obviously. I don't want to get a lot of non MLB cards, but I am interested to see what's out there. I read a few articles leading up to this, and there are some interesting cards I like to see, but I also know there's some really strange ones. <laughs> Hope we don't hit too many of those, although it could be fun, I guess, to hit them. I know there's the egg. Everybody wants to see this egg. So let's see if we get an egg card tonight. Don't know if the egg card gets autographed. It could be autographed. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Diaz, Muncie. Okay, that's gonna happen all night, isn't it? Ooh, nice, Bryce Harper. And our mini, I'm gonna call it the tobacco card, even though all these cards are modeled after the original tobacco cards, but these mini, mini ones are really what um, what they used to look like in the cigar boxes. So, uh, so the Bryce Harper, as I mentioned there with the Phillies, I got a Hap. And this is a baseball star sign, in case you wanted to know what Aaron Judge's sign was. Now you know. He is a Taurus. i got to be honest, I don't even know what that means. I don't know, I don't know when that means his birthday is, or I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a sign person. Maybe you are. Maybe you can tell me when, uh, what Taurus is. Actually, don't bother. <laughs> I don't want to waste your time by writing that in the comments. But I don't even know what my sign is. Just shows you how much I care about it. All right, come on now. All right. I'll look at this after this. Uh, open this next one. We'll look at the the wrapping. I didn't really look at the the wrapper of the pack. All right. Here we go. I should get the mini card out of here right away. Oh, this looks like it might be a different one. So here we go. Here's a Robertson. David Robertson, and I 
guess it's a different border, black border. Might be a little bit more significant. I'll have to look that up. All right, we got Anderson, Ozzy Smith, cool card there. And then we got the first Tiger Mask. Again, why wouldn't we? Our night is complete. Justin Turner. And there's our, um, well, we got our horse card. So use for those of you that were looking for the Mustang card, here you go. <laughs> and let's see, this is backwards, upside down, whatever you want to call it. So let's see, let's hope this is a autograph of some sort or an insert, and it's not. It's a Rosario that just happened to be upside down. Okay, not numbered or anything. Interesting. And here is a uh, Stio, Steo. Looks like a young umpire sort, and there's Anderson, so. Okay, so looks like Alan and Ginther threw us a little bit of a curveball there with that card that was face down. Usually means uh, an autograph or something, right? Unless I'm crazy, but. So here's the pack. It is a really nice looking pack. Autograph and relic cards, eight cards. Um, but, you know, it's, a, it's an acquired taste. If this is your first time uh, buying into an Alan Ginter, then you get, you know, a chance tonight to decide whether you like it or not. You know, obviously not just based on your hits, but do you like the idea of having non-MLB players on it? You know, kind of YouTube stars, where it might be horses on Marshall. Like this. Like, uh... There, I'm going to look this one up here because I'm kind of curious. And maybe that's why they do it. Modern Media Communicate as an active CEO. Yeah, okay. I mean, no offense, but I don't really care. I guess if it was autographed, would it mean something? Here's a nice Alonzo card. Uh, this was our mini, by the way. Another David Robinson. We just, uh, oh no. That was from the last pack, or did we hit that uh, that mini yet? I think no. That was, uh, I think we got a double... Uh, David Robertson, Michael Hare. Oh, here you go, Paul Bunyan's axe. So now you can you can add that to your collection. And by the way, our non-MLB player, Alfredo T, he's getting all these cards. So um, um, I'm assuming Alfredo, there's a nice Roger Clemens with the Blue Jays. Um, I'm assuming, Roger, uh, Alfredo, you are aware of what the non-MLB player cards were. So it seems like um, from the breaks I've seen or seen online on eBay that looks like a, one of the first things that go uh, that gets bought so maybe you know you like to collect those I, it sounds like it could be a fun set to collate by hand like those horses and stuff I guess there's maybe you know a certain amount of horses different horse cars and things you can collect those and I don't know sure there's value to that for someone you know considering um by the way, that was another David Robertson, just so you know. That was in that last pack. So we hit back-to-back D-Robs. Okay, here we go. Let's continue through. Let's just look for some nice inserts. Nice hits. Let's look for a good hit here, a big hit. Harold Baines, nice Hall of Famer there. Jordan Bauer. There we go. This is our little mini card. And there is Palka. There's a Milot. Ginter Great. How cool would that be to have some sort of relic from him? And there's a Sato. 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 It's like an artist of some sort. I think she might be, has something to do with tops, but you guys can look that up if you want. It's not something that um, interests me right now. All right. Let's see what we can find here. I really want to. I really do want to find a nice hit out of this pack. If we're gonna to have to um, deal with, you know, horse cards or Paul Bunyan's axe, I think we're entitled to a nice hit here, tops. Don't you think? <laughs> You're gonna make us look through cards like Paul Bunyan's axe. I wonder what their thought is on that, though. Like what? Like who? They clearly are looking for, you know, a baseball audience, of course, baseball collector's audience, because they put cards like, you know, David Price and, and all these. But who were they looking for with Paul Bunyan's axe? There's Dee Dee, smiling, as always. Vader. You know, I just wonder. Like this card, like this is the West Highland Terrier card. All right, so that's a collectible canine. So obviously there's a set of that. 
set of those. Nice Joey Votto card. Well, you guys can either just clip, click off now and go to bed, or I don't know what time it is while you're watching this, but we have it. We got the egg. And uh, that is going to be a um, quote-unquote hit for us tonight, okay? <laughs> if that's... If that's where we are by the end of the night, oh my gosh. If the egg is our hit, I'm going to leave that right here. We're going to look at the egg all night. There it is, the egg. Um, if that's our hit, yeah, I'm going to not be thrilled. <laughs> but Alfred T, you got the egg, my friend. Alfredo T, excuse me. <laughs> Alfredo. Alfredo was a Patreon member who I'm sure when he signed up, for this break I was dreaming of adding an egg to his PC all right let's move on here oh I see a nice Nolan Arenado card in the back we'll get to that let's hope maybe it's autographed or something that would be cool relic or something Ernie Banks Moncada what then there's our Seeger, little mini card insert, tobacco, Casey Stengel. There's Hercules Club, of course. I mean, Paul Bunyan's Axe versus Hercules Club. Who wins? Nolan Orinato. There you go, that's the back card. It was not autographed, but still a nice card to add to a Colorado's owner, who is uh, Kirk M. Kirk, you got your... Got your Arenado card, your daily dose of Arenado. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Moving right along. The song goes, huh? Let me get this side, maybe. There we go. I was going to say, the packs opened earlier today, and the packs so far have not been that... Oh, this is something interesting. It's like a clear... Here we go. This is definitely something here. I'm going to have to start here. This is, um, wow. This is a Mookie Betts stained glass. Um, yeah, not from the number one. So, gonna have to, it's clearly a hit of some sort. In all seriousness, I'm gonna put it over here with the egg, but, um, let me see. There are, there are the um, odds on the back. Maybe you could see it real quick. But that seems like a significant card there. Who is our Red Sox owner? Uh, Andrew M. That's a very cool card, Andrew. Don't know the value of that. Let me just quickly go through the rest of the pack. Jeff Bagwell, cool, nice card there. John Lester. Here's an airplane. Jet, whatever, okay. You've seen it. Oh, here is a nice Beavers. Uh, this is a relic, our memorabilia, game used memorabilia for our Devers for the Red Sox. So, Andrew, you're on a little bit of a roll here. Nice Red Sox pack for you. We'll get that off to the side for you. And Burns and Guriel. So, um, next pack, let me just look at the the odds. We can look on, the, on that with that together in the back. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. It's probably going to be really small, but... It's going to either way. I'm going to put it in a nice, it's small, but I'll put it in a nice top loader for you. Uh, maybe even in a one touch. Yeah, I, I can't read that. Maybe you guys can. But the odds are getting this stained glass. I guess that's what it's called, the stained glass card. It's really nice. See, this is the time that I wish we were doing live, um, live breaks. I'm like a hundred, less than 140 away from a thousand guys if you can really help me push for that thousand I don't I don't beg for subs I'm just begging to get us to a thousand so I could do live breaks because then I could sit there and chat with you guys and we could talk about that Mookie Betts card because now I have to wait I have to look it up Jason Varitek uh, if you're a Red Sox fan Andrew that's a nice card for you otherwise he's just kind of a He's not a Hall of Famer, but good player. Clint Kershaw, he's a Pisces, so you now know that. Oh, that's a nice car for your Yankee fan, Tino Martinez. 
Let's go into the Yankees owner. Our Yankees owner tonight is um, Joseph B. So there you go, and a Ralph Kiner card. And there's the Sunny Gray card. So yeah, I'm um, I'm definitely curious about that Mookie Betts card. And unfortunately now, you guys are looking it up, and you can find out. Andrew, you can find out, and I'll find out after this. But it would be awesome if we were doing this live. Because the knowledge that you guys have is tremendous, and we would, somebody would have already shouted out what it is, probably already told us what it's worth. I mean, I could be I could be exaggerating the, the value of that card, but it's definitely a cool looking card. I mean, it's literally like a stained glass. Um, but here we go. This is uh, rocks. Okay, Alfredo T. You got rocks. Now you've been looking for him all night. <laughs> and then we get through our major league baseball players. There we go. Lou Garrick. And Joseph B, that's awesome. Hit that in our mini pile there. Aaron Nola, nice card. And Pastrana. I think this guy is like one of those, um, I don't know what he is actually. I don't want to take a guess and sound like a fool. And there's Cupid's Bow. So now we got Hercules Club, Cupid's Bow versus, um, what was the one we hit earlier? Neil, you know. Um, Hercules Club, Cupid's Bow. I can't even remember. Is it Nike? Something? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's get through the rest of these packs here. We're about halfway done, I'd say. Moving along, nice, nice clip here. We still have the uh, oversized box loader. We're gonna break right after this. Uh, crack open, and also I'm gonna do that RIP card that I have that I broke open earlier today. So, uh, and after that, we have our giveaway. So what I'll do is, after I do all the break cards, um, don't know, you have to look that up, guys, sorry. Uh, same thing, Andrews, don't know. There's Trevor Hoffman. Uh, we'll do our giveaway. And there's a Chihuahua for you, Alfredo T. So you got your Chihuahua card that you've been looking for all night. Okay, and you got your, it's like this is what carried the space shuttle. Catfish Hunter, that's a cool card right there. I love Catfish Hunter cards. And you're on a roll tonight, Andrew M. Well, Red Sox, good cards for you there. Okay. Um, so yeah, free giveaway is, you can read the description, is a uh, Bowman Platinum. You got two um, blaster boxes. Two boxes. Each box has seven packs with a bonus, one bonus pack in each one. So, Platinums have been extremely hot. I got a pair of them given away to one person tonight. Um, so, stick with me right after this. I break when I open the last card, which will be the Mel the uh, Cabrera RIP card. I'll pause the video and I will come back with the laptop and we'll we'll crack it open. There you go, Von Rodriguez. And we got rocks, so now we got rocks. And we got the mini now of Sato. So, loop rock. Jackie Robinson, there you go. Beautiful card there for our Dodgers owner. Our Dodgers owner tonight is W. David B. Keller. And race. Start with Allen Wright, rookie card, yep. Okay. So moving right along, let me get these cards put away. All right, do a little housekeeping here. Keep an eye on our hits. So we don't have an autograph. We did get the uh, Devers Relic card, memorabilia, game used, swath there, but we did not have an autograph yet, so. And by the way, that Mookie Betts pack was really hard to open. And when I say that, meaning, you know, I have that theory, guys, that the harder the pack, I feel like there's always something inside it. So, like a hit of some sort. So maybe I'm back to that conspiracy theory. I've been wrong like nine out of the last ten times. <laughs> but when I'm right, I'm going to let you know it. Nice harm and kill, Brew. Going to our Twins owner, who's Gavin C. tonight. Gavin C. There's a 
Brandy Johnson's a Virgo. So all those out there thought he was not a Virgo, you were wrong. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., beautiful card. Cap on backwards, of course, classic. There is Oz. Oz interviews players, former players, and opens baseball cards with them on Yahoo Sports. It's kind of fun. It actually, it's a cool little segment they do. You can watch them, catch them online. Um, and he has his own card, which is cool. And the, uh, the mini insert there was Dustin Bedroya in that pack. So I'll get that over here. All right, let's get going here. We are a little bit more than halfway now, so let's rock and roll here. Let's move through this swiftly and find a big hit. Let me change our, our speed here a little bit. Let's see if that helps. Because I, I want a nice autograph here for someone in our group. Take a relic, but I really want a nice autograph. Let's see if we can get one. Seeger. Seeger. Goldie. Cespedes. There's a oh, nice Otani. It's that mini insert. Now that is a black border as well, so I'm going to have to look that up, but I assume that is um, a little bit more significant than the regular border. So move that over there. There's our horse card. Tennessee walking horse. As opposed to a Tennessee non-walking horse, I guess. I don't know. Mac Scherzer. Okay. Anyway, so we got a horse card. All right. This pack. Now, Washington Nationals, by the way, that Mac Scherzer was going to Daniel M. Daniel M. Thank you for joining us on this break, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Grip and rip here. See a Scooter Gannett in the back. We'll get to you in a minute, Scooter. In the meantime, we got an Edgar Martinez, new inductee to the Hall of Fame. Is that next week, I believe it is? Here's a nice uh, Olympian. A Burns mini card. Here's another jet, airplane, fighter jet. You can read about the history in the back. And here is a memorabilia from... Uh, used memorabilia. I don't know what this is. Some sort of a fabric. It's Mart Martinet. I'll, I'll look. Oh, and we've got another. we got his base card. Martinet is a video game voice actor. Um, oh, I know who this guy is. This guy does the voice of the Mario. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think he's the voice of Mario on the Mario Brother games. If I, re if I remember that correct. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. One more than 200 video games. Super Mario, Super Smash Brothers. He's the voice of Nintendo legend Mario. So that's kind of cool. I mean, you know, it's not a it's not a player, but it's pretty neat. I don't know what it is. I think what's kind of weird though is getting like like article of clothing from him or something. Whatever the whatever the swatch is that they give you of his. I don't. That's kind of weird. Like it's one thing you get a player's. You know, part of his uniform or even his whatever it is, a sock, his stirrup. But to get one from the voice of the guy that does Mario, I don't necessarily. Again, I'm just speaking for myself. Not really looking for us memorabilia, used used memorabilia from him. And it's clearly like a piece piece of clothing or something in there. So that's kind of creepy. They could have came up with something better. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, like a Nintendo box or something, you know, like a piece of, I don't know, come up with something, a piece of a video game or maybe like the logo of like Mario Brothers or something, Machado, there's David Robertson, Justin Smoke, and this is uh, somebody that's not a Major League Baseball player, here's uh, an Aries, Buster Posey's an Aries, guys, now you know, and you're happy. Um, Bueller and we got wheelbarrow racing so yeah that's I'm not this is not a joke oh 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 Bueller 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 and guess who uh, Don Mattingly very nice Joseph B we need to talk <laughs> we need to talk I'm not gonna get away with I'm gonna leave these cards over here now get away with getting a Mattingly without us talking about it afterwards just kidding. 
Just kidding. Your card. Your card. I'll find him. I'll do my own little personal search for him. I'll find him. I always find him. Still chasing a lot of his cards, but I'll find him. Uh, tough one. Tough one. Can my theory be right on this one? Depends. If it opens easy on this end, nope. Opened easy. Do I see nice Hall of Famer on the back? Which is very cool. And he's in the Chicago Cubs, so I'll get to that in a second. Ooh, beautiful Ricky Henderson card. Love that card. That's a really Josh Donaldson. That's a cool Ricky Henderson card. Paxton. Meadows. The Meadows, there's another horse. Oh, there's cool Phil Rizzuto mini. Going to you, Joseph B. Contreras card. Who's the Cubs tonight? Cubs is Adam R. And there's Ryan Sandberg. Very nice card there. And their Cubbies is, uh, excuse me, their Cubbies is Adam R. So, um, very, very nice card. Yeah, I said that already. Adam R. Cool. All right. Get that over here. Okay, we got about... I'm going to say one, two, three, four, about six packs left, I think, after this. So, flying through this, going to finish it up for you guys in 10 minutes or so. And then we'll get into the box loader, my Moki Cabrera RIP card. Gosh, I hope that's not hard to open because this pack right here, this is a hard one to open. I wonder if there's something in here. Let's see. Flip it over. All right, here we go. Let's let's see. Myers. Post Malone. There you go. I'm sure, a lot of you know him. Jim Palmer. Oberst. Oberst. Don't know. He is a uh, world's strongest man. There you go. And here is that skateboarder again. This time he comes in a mini. There's another fighter jet. Frank Thomas card, very nice. Simmons. And wires, okay. Okay. All right. Like I said, we got about five packs to go here. Still looking at that. Mookie Betts stained glass. I'll take a look at it again at the end here, but wondering what that is. Wondering what that is. Not numbered. Well, it's number one on the back, so I guess it's a, it's a, some sort of an insert set, obviously. And, but I don't know what the how many there are in this set. And speaking of Mookie Betts, it's kind of spooky just talking about him. Freddie Freeman. He's the mini insert card here. Deion Sanders with the Braves. That's cool. That's going to W. David B. He gets the Freeman and that Deion Sanders. Willie Stargell. Our Pittsburgh owner tonight is Travis P. Travis P. He's a big Pittsburgh Pirate fan. Robin Yount. Oh, that's a nice card. Yastrzemski. And Jerem getting that one. Uh, nice Chipper Jones. This has been a great pack here. I love this pack. This is a really, really good one here. Really good one. A lot of good good cards in that one. All base cards, no inserts, uh, but nice cards nonetheless. And there's the Freeman Mini. Get that over here. All right, four more packs, guys. Four more packs. Have to uh, to go check that checklist out again after this and see what. See what some of these, um, I'm not checklist, excuse me, see at eBay, see what some of the value of these like non MLB player cards are worth. I'm really curious, Whitey Ford, like the voice of Mario Brothers, or Mario, Roberto Alomar, he's the insert card. Frank Robinson, nice card there. Like, I wonder if there's any value to that, or, or what kind of value, I should say. Hoskins is a Pisces, guys, just so you know. Paul Molitor, great card there, going to our Brewers owner. That's Andrew M. again tonight. Andrew's having some night. Here's Carton. 
Not too familiar with Carton, but you read all about him on the back, and there's Emo. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering what those uh, the value of the non-players are. I'm sure there's some value in certain ones with autographs, or some are harder to find than others. I'm sure there's numbered ones, but I'd like to get an RIP card too, like for you guys, not for me. I don't see them often. Um, I looked at some videos leading up to this set of 2018, and I was looking online, looking at like RIP cards, things like that, and there really wasn't a lot of them. It didn't seem like it, so. I mean, they're obviously out there, but I'd love to open one myself for you. I'm going to open one after this, but. Um, Felix Hernandez, there's Mark Summers. I remember him from uh, there's a Double Dare, a number of other game shows the guy's done. Arietta, Garcia Para, that's nice. No Ma, that's Ramon, spelled backwards. Garcia Para, going to Andrew. And there's Marquez. This is our Rocky, going to Kirkham. And here's our horse card for you, Alfredo. And Marte card, nice one for you, Travis. Chapman, that's a nice one. Really like my Chapman. And that's going to our age owner, which is Charles K. Cool card for you, Charles. And Hernandez. So, I like that Chapman card. Guy's uh, going to be a real good player for a long time in this league, I think. Okay, Chapman. There we go, Bets. Okay. Two more packs, and we call it a night for the Allen and Ginter. And of course, got to do the box loader. But after that, we'll call it a night. I don't know if the box loader. Can come in like an RIP. That would be cool. It's a huge card. Imagine that. That's something to think about, Alan Ginter, if you haven't already. Having the uh, the box loader card come like an uh, have it as an RIP card. Oh, I know who this guy is because I love wrestling. I'm a big wrestling fan, by the way. Kyle Snyder is a U.S. Olympian gold medalist. I uh, was 19 when he won the gold medal, so uh, really big wrestling fan. So I'm, I like that card. Stan Musial. Greatest lefty hitters of all time. This is a World Series of Poker winner. Don't remember the year or anything, but I do remember this guy winning it. Here is a Robin Hood. Robin Hood's bow. Incredible equipment. Oh, here we go. Very cool card here. Very nice card. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. This is a stop the press card here. So we're looking at the Topps 2019 Allen and Ginter game use memorabilia of David Ortiz. This is in a, um, uh, what do they call it? I forget. This is a genuine, uh, what is this border? I did read about it. I apologize, guys, for not knowing what it is. Um, but David Ortiz, definitely a future Hall of Famer. Um, this is a swath with a uh, really beautiful border. I'm going to have to do uh, It's not numbered, but I know it's. Uh, this is definitely a hit. So, Andrew, I'm going to put this one over here as well so we can look at this after the break. Congratulations to you, Andrew. You really uh, are having some night here, Andrew Ram, so congratulations. And there's the Kyle Snyder card. So that is a really, really beautiful looking card that Ortiz. When you feel it, you'll understand too. The uh, It's got a beautiful border, very thick card. Um, probably 75, no, not 75, maybe 55. All right, here's our last pack, guys. Uh, let's get this open, get to the box loader, and we can get to my RIP card, my personal one, Melky Cabrera, um, excuse me, Miguel Cabrera, definitely not Melky Cabrera, big difference. All right, there we go. So last pack, last pack. We got a Puig, now to our red zoner, who was our red zoner tonight? That would be Daniel M. Chris Davis, Buxton, going to Gavin C. There's a nice Murphy card, Daniel Murphy. Going to Kirk M. It's Rockies. Nishek, and who is our Phillies owner this evening? We did hit a Bryce Harper earlier. Phillies is Nate C. Congratulations, Nate. There's our insert. Oh, there you go, Mike Trout. Nothing wrong with a nice Mike Trout card. And Herrera. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Dennis Eckersley is the insert, and he's got that black border. So 
Like I said, I think the black borders are a little bit more significant. I'm kind of leaving them aside. Um, and that is it, guys. So let me quickly look at uh, no particular order. We have the David Ortiz that we hit. Really nice. The thickness of that. It's kind of The card is kind of laid in on this um, frame, if you will. And it has a swath. I guess a uniform swath there. Game used. Memorabilia, so that's cool. And uh, the back there, numbered. Uh, not numbered, excuse me, but it's a, a part of an, an insert. So we have that. We got the two. I'm not really calling these hits. I'm just showing them because they're a little bit different than the other minis. They had the black border. Got Otani and Eckersley. Nice. And then we have this Mookie Betts, um, which is just really cool, too. Going to Andrew M. This is a solid card. It's obviously plastic, but it's very thick. And it's got this stained glass thing going on. Um, and it's numbered one. You can see that down there? Corner number one. So, going to you, Andrew. You're definitely on a roll tonight. And yeah, we got the um, we got the egg. So, let me get the other two memorabilia cards that we got. We got the voice of Mario from Nintendo. I don't know what the swath is. I don't want to know what it is. It's really creepy to me. Um, this is Devers. This is a swath card as well, not numbered. Um, game used memorabilia. So that's cool. That's a Red Sox again. So you got all three of those, Andrew. Wow, congratulations, man. You picked the right team uh, tonight. And then again, here you go. So this is going to you, Alfredo. Don't know what that game used, or not even game used. It says something, uh, clothing, I guess. So, okay, so let's do this. Let's open the box loader. We get these two cards. Off to the side here. I'm gonna open the box loader, see what it is. Hoping it's somebody good, maybe. This could be autographed, maybe. Um, it's definitely not thick, so it's not a memorabilia card. But let's see what we got here. It is, just looks like it's a cabinet box loader. Outfield, oh, Aaron Judge. Well, there you go. You just received. Tops 2019 cabinet loader outfielder Aaron Judge. Your Yankees. Take a look at the card. Very nice. That's a cool looking card. I mean, that just definitely looks like an aged card, an old card. So, very nice. We'll get that in one of those big box loader for you, Joseph B. And that'll head off to you. Okay. All right. And let's do this. Let's do the RIP card. Okay, guys. I'm not going to pause the video or anything. I'm just going to get right into it. Here is my Melky Cabrera RIP card that I hit earlier tonight in my personal box that I was opening. As you can see, it's number 71 of 75. Okay, I've never done this before. So I actually had to look online to see how you open these. So what you do is you, on the back here, if you could see that at the very top or above the RIP, there's a kind of a little piece you peel back right there, see? So you peel it back. And what I'll do is I'll peel it back here with you guys. Looks like just nicely comes right down the middle. All right. And then you have to peel back the corners. And I'm told this could be kind of tough sometimes. Well, that was easy. Um, let's see what we got. So I'm going to peel back to one side. I don't know where the card starts or ends. So, okay, I see there's like a border in here. There's just like a border here. So I'm not going to scratch anything if I kind of use my nails on the cardboard. If I get it peeled back, there we go. So let me get it all peeled back. I don't want to take this paper off until I get everything off so we can look at it together. All right, it's all off, okay? So here we go, guys. I'm going to open this up, peel this away, see what we have. Ready? Da, 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 da. A Hank Aaron, which is great. And let's see. Does it come out here? Okay, yes, it does. So I guess this is an SSP or an SP. That's all this is. I should say that's all this is, but that's what it is. So I, I hope this is more valuable than a 71 out of 75 Mookie Cabrera. Um, and to be honest, this Hank Aaron, I was looking at the back, it looks like it's got like a, you look under where it says bats throws, 
It's got some sort of a stain there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to reach out to uh, Alan Tops about that. You know why? Because this was in a protective card, right? So it's not like it could be one of it can't be my fault for getting a coffee stain or whatever that is on it, right? It came in that. It was covered in this piece of like thin paper, cardboard or whatever. And then it was behind all this cardboard or this thick, thick paper. So it's got a coffee stain on it. I mean, how is that possible? So I'm going to be writing the tops about that. There's no way that that should be happening. Um, so anyway, that's the card. I hope you guys were excited. I do appreciate you uh, encouraging me to open it. It was fun to open it. Don't get me wrong. That was cool. I don't mind uh, opening those cards. Um, but I am a little upset that it has a stain on it. So I'll let you know what Top says about that. All right. I'll be right back, guys, with the... Uh, with the giveaway okay give me one second coming right back all right everyone welcome back this is uh the break um just ended for alan and ginter we are now doing our giveaway two boxes bowman platinum two boxes of retail uh, blaster boxes so seven packs one bonus pack in each so there'll be 14 packs plus two bonus packs okay so here's everybody's name that was in the break tonight uh as you see everybody's listed once it uh, doesn't matter how many times, how many teams you bought. Uh, out of fairness, I put everybody in here once. All right. There's the full list. I'll go back up again. All right. And I'm going to randomize this five times. I do five times. The person that comes out on top after the fifth one, here's the first randomizer. The first time you come up here after the fifth one, you win it. Okay. You win both. All right. And again, that is number two. Number three, number four, and here we go, last one. Name up top wins the two boxes, and that goes to Adam R. Adam R., congratulations, buddy. You are the winner of the free boxes of the Bowman Platinum Retail Blaster Box. So congrats. Listen, everyone, thank you very much again for joining me on this break. Please join me again on um, Saturday evening. Saturday evening, I have awesome two boxes, Donruss Optic. Uh, these are awesome looking boxes. Where do you see these? You're going to love them. So I think everything is sold. All the teams are sold. Please join me for that 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, Saturday evening. I have some information below for you there. Uh, thanks again, and hope to see you in the next break. Happy chasing.